But I'm also grateful for the support and ideas of host curriculum coordinator Cindy Wilkinson. And she's going to come up here to give us a few more details on the good work that HOST does, not only in connection with National Days of Kindness, but all year round. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Cindy Wilkinson. Thank you. Um, the Hillsborough County Out of School Time Program, or HOST as we've come to be known, um, serves just under 16,000 students and their families in 113 elementary and K-8 schools, 35 middle schools, and two high schools. Many of our elementary schools this year have taken on the theme of kindness as their yearly theme and kindness of the heart just fit in perfectly. So we're helping to enhance their theme. And the kids like to do random acts of kindness for each other. I've been to some schools where they have coins that they get and I asked them what the coins were for, if they could cash them in for prizes or anything. And, and it's, not, it's not that. It's, they get to uh, collect these coins and give them to somebody else if they see them doing a, a, an act of kindness. Um, in September, December, and March are the months that the students participate in the big project that Ward was talking about. And in September, like he said, we, we participated, we read the jelly donut difference to the kids and they sprinkled kindness throughout the school community. In December, we've chosen, um, for elementary school kids, we've chosen Kindness Counts, which is a book about paying it forward. And middle school has decided that they want their own curriculum, so we found a book called Pay It Forward. And they'll, they'll be using those books to talk about pay, paying it forward and doing some activities paying it forward. Um, also, middle school students have adopted cancer patients. They're making bookmarks for cancer patients to inspire them and help and help them get through their their process of, of chemotherapy or whatever they have to do to, to heal. And um, so far, we've made 180 bookmarks that we've given to, uh, to the cancer patients. And one that stands out in my mind, one student shared his cancer journey with stage four liver cancer and his bookmark read, if I can survive, so can you. Thank you. Um, we're proud to partner with Ward and for the family to help make this, kind, this county a little bit kinder. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you. He's pretty kind of self, um, Actually, you know, the, the thing is too that um, we've been very blessed to have participation from school districts. In addition to Hillsborough County Schools, the Pinellas County School District is another one of our partners. And the nice thing about it is that kind initiatives and programs are working behind the scenes to engender exactly what Cindy was talking about. Again, our purpose is to bring that more to the forefront. And your participation in the upcoming National Days of Kindness, which begin December 17th and last until the first day of winter on the 21st, it's really very easy. What we're asking you to do is to either by yourself or with friends, do an act of kindness that fits what you, what you believe kindness represents. But don't limit it necessarily to the conventional forms of kindness that you hear about in the papers and stuff, as valuable as that is. And I'm not, you know, minimizing the value, but the more creative kindness can be expressed, the more creatively it can be expressed, the more visible that kindness will be as we share it with the community. So what we're asking you to do between the 17th and 21st of December is to do that act of kindness, either do a videotape as it's happening or summarize it in the one minute video that is our currency and send that video to ForTheFamilyTampa at gmail.com where it will not only be the centerpiece of our efforts to promote the National Days of Kindness and what it represents, but it will also be eligible for a random act of kindness award at next year's National Family Awards, which by the way, will it will always be 
the Friday before Thanksgiving. Because what better way to express thankfulness as we move into the holiday season than to see repeated examples of the kindness that surrounds us. And, of course, you already have heard the high regard that I have for Mary Lou Whaley. And rather than embarrass her by repeating, and I'm just going to introduce her because she's going to present the award for Kind Initiatives and Programs. Mary Lou Whaley, please. Good afternoon. As Warren said, my name is Mary Lee Whaley. I work for Hillsborough County Public Schools. I do outreach, um, community engagement, and philanthropy. So this is right up our alley. We work closely with hosts in our programs with our students. They always look for the opportunity of sharing, sharing kindness and working to that extent. So thank you so much. Um, it was Ward and our, and our connection through our full serve centers. Crystal Russell and Alice Simmons are also here. Your work brought that forward um, in our partnership, so we really appreciate that. It has given an opportunity for our kids to share um, in such a delightful way. In fact, our middle schoolers were probably more responsive to the to the work and to the projects than even our elementary schools, and that's pretty, pretty nice to know. Um, so thank you. Um, our school district, just quickly, is 215,000 strong. We, we are very large, we're very diverse, and very often we have lots of needs. So my, my job and my, my team's job is to connect resources to families in the community. So I appreciate that of Ward and his work with the family, or for the family. So as we begin, uh, thank you uh, again for asking me to be here. We all know that individual kindness connects good people in a common purpose and defines what a caring community is all about. However, kindness works even better when it's shared by many people at once. That's what happens when entire programs are created that promote and encourage kindness. You've already heard how the district's host program is doing that. The following video shows how the energy of one individual can drive entire programs. Hi, my name is Annette Brooks and I would like to nominate Richardine Aquar Hill for the Kindness Initiative of the Year. <laughs> so, <laughs> with that being said, I'd like Richardine Akbar Hills to come forward and accept her family claim award. No, I'll kill her. Really. <laughs> that's, my, that's my sister from another mother. That's awesome. <laughs> and the autopsy will show that. <laughs> that's awesome. So, for you, thank you. Should we, should we move out? Oh. Yes, move out. <laughs> we don't want to let a podium get between us. Okay. Hello, awesome. Thank you. Rich and Ian. Okay. I was not expecting you to have this. They never do. I just came up here to bring Kiki because Paul said to bring Kiki. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Um, Thank you, Ward. Ward and I have known each other for I don't know how long. Um, and my program is intergenerational. I work with kids from Hillsborough County Schools. I work with kids that uh, have court mandated hours. And uh, we go out and we help seniors in the community. Um, right now, I'm looking for volunteers to go to uh, the 24 nursing, senior, and assisted living facilities that we go to each Saturday in the month of December. So if you want to volunteer, I'm looking for volunteers right now. <laughs> Paul doesn't sing, and he's going to three centers. <laughs> so um, I'm just glad to accept this award. Uh -huh. Annette, I'm going to get her when she comes back from, uh, from Chicago. But thank you very much. She told you she's going to Chicago. She isn't telling you what she really is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And this reminds me, we do have uh, one item of housekeeping uh, to consider. Um, this comes courtesy of our auditors. Um, basically, what we need to have happen, because each award is accompanied by a gift card, uh, the people receiving a Family Flame Award receive one amount, the runners-up receive another, but there are sheets that uh, need to be signed uh, at the table uh, with law enforcement sitting there. 
<laughs> no, there's no risk of perjury. But but seriously, if you would be willing to, uh, it should just be a, a matter of uh, looking for the sheet that says all right, it's the Family Flame Award, or if it's a runner-up award, you just sign that sheet, and then that way, Mr. Auditor won't slap me in irons. I don't want to go. What are you in here for, kid? Hell, I didn't. I didn't satisfy the auditors. And then everyone nods and understands it. You know. Okay. Uh, now, um, actually, it's time to introduce the second place winner in the kind initiatives category, because there are so many pro programs that focus on developing and perpetuating kindness, but they're basically unknown except to those who benefit. Of course, we're trying to change that in our own way this afternoon, and as kindness of the heart progresses in years to come. The 21st Century Program of Pinellas County Schools is one example, and the following video describes another. Hi, my name is Jordan, and I want to nominate my aunt Amber Connage and the Purity Band class at the College Hill Church of God in Christ for this award. Um, they have a program called Lending a Helping Hand, and basically what it is, is they collect sanitary supplies, feminine supplies, hygiene supplies for homeless people. I think it's a great program because our homeless population in Tampa is very high, and it's continuing to grow. So this is kind of the gap that we needed to have filled. They're a great group of kids, and their advisor is a great woman as well. And I know that with this award, they'd be able to even better serve our community. So please consider them. Thank you. Stage presence, huh? Yeah. It's really good. Um, Amber Connage is a member of the College Hill Church of God in Christ, and uh, she works in Ruskin. She had thought that she could make it here today, but God.